Welcome back, everybody. It's time to get growing. Did you know your plants talk to each other? So placement in your garden is really important. That and getting those hanging baskets up from Canterbury Farm and Greenhouses. Hi, this is Tim at Canterbury Greenhouse, Howard, Wisconsin. We have perennials, tropicals, hanging baskets, annuals, and succulents. I have some tips for you to keep your garden striving. These are uh, non-stop begonias. This one's an illumination. This is non-stop. One thing with non-stops, a lot of people uh, can plant them backwards. What you want to do is look for that point of that leaf and make sure that always faces you, because this is right where the flowers come out. One other secret of a begonia is two flowers are on one stem. Moving on to tomatoes and peppers. Tomatoes, when they start getting leggy, especially if you're seeding them at home, and they get stretchy on you, what you want to do is break off the bottom branches and plant that tomato deep. Here at Canterbury, our uh, tomato plants are in peat pots, so you can rip the bottom off and plant the whole pot. If you're planting tomatoes and peppers next to one another, believe it or not, plants do talk. They are a living thing. And they argue back and forth and the tomato plant will win. So if your peppers are in the same row or next to one another, and you're not getting a good uh, pepper crop because they're too close to your tomatoes. Two biggest plants that like to rot when, when we're watering them. Dahlias you want to keep above the soil line, and if they're staying in the pot, you want these on the dry side. Being overwatered, they will rot, especially in the pot. So always when you're transplanting your dahlias, if you're gonna transplant them, keep this above your uh, next soil line. Same thing with gabiras. If, you're, if your gabira is not flowering, it's planted too deep, you want this above your soil line. This is right where your buds are. And you get water down in that crotch, it tends to rot these out. So always keep your gabiras above your soil line and you'll have uh, nice looking flowers like that. So this is one of our Canterbury baskets. We have them for sun and shade. So when we are mossing this, years ago, we used to never have liners for this. And the biggest thing is people were complaining about them drying out. We were listening and we came up with some ways to stop it from drying out. Now, if you would have plant that and water that, the water usually just went right through the moss. That was in the early days. So this is just a 10, 10 gallon garbage bag and we just uh, get right where the knot is. We still want to poke some drain holes in there. So we just tear it a little bit on each side. And then we stick this bag in there, fold it over the top, and then we fill this up with dirt. So if you're gonna plant in the side, you wanna, you wanna poke through and make sure you get through that liner. But like I say, it's not a crutch that you can leave it go for a couple days. You still gotta, you still gotta check your water daily. All right, Canterbury Farms and Greenhouse is located on Frederick Court in Howard. You can give them a call at this number, 920-434-9353. All right, well, we